We're building a birdhouse. Step one. Step one is we are going to need our plan for a birdhouse. We're going to need a square. We're going to need a ruler. And we are going to need a board. And the first thing you want to do with the board is find the very, very top of it and write our name real big and easy and our hour sixth hour or seventh hour or something like that so that we can find it now there's two places we can start this board at we can start at the end here that is dog-eared meaning it's already been tri uh, trimmed a little bit because this used to be a fence post i'm sorry a fence panel or we can use the square end we want to start with the square end. So we're going to start by making our first measurement four and three quarters of an inch from the bottom. And then what we're going to do, going to do, is make another line. So I have my line here, four and three quarters of an inch. And I use the square to make sure I have a matching side. And then what I'm going to do is take my square and make sure it's tight up against the wood there. And I'm going to draw my first diagonal nice and tight against the wood. And then I'm going to flip it over and do it on the other side. So I have another diagonal. Now this one right here, I'm going to label as my front. I'm also going to label, label it with my name, very large, and the hour, so that I do not lose this piece. Everybody in this class is building the same birdhouse. You're going to get your pieces confused if they're not labeled. Now I move it down a little bit. The next thing I've got to do is the back of my birdhouse. So I'm going to measure another four and three quarters of an inch. And this part's easy, four and three quarters of an inch from the edge of this roof. And all I do is use my square and draw a line down there. This right here is my back. And I'm gonna label that with my name and the hour as well. Now I've gotta do the roof, part one, roof part two, and the bottom. And all of those are eight and a half inches. So this is very easy to do. I mark it eight and a half inches. Use my square. Eight and a half inches. Use my square. Eight and a half inches. Use the square. And again, make sure that each one is labeled with their job and your name. The last two pieces that you'll do are the sides. And each side is four and one quarter inch. So four and one quarter inch, draw it with a square four and a quarter inch, draw with a square, make sure you label everything. Another good piece of advice would be to take this board down and compare it to someone else's board to make sure all of your pieces look good before you start cutting. <laughs>